G'day folks, uh, just a little update for Tuesday, uh, 7th of February. Um, not an awful lot happening, just busy at work today. And um, yeah, had a few little things come in this week. Clint, Clinton from Clinton's Shed sent me this neat little uh, neutral line tester. Just a permanent fixture, it tells you if voltage level uh, drops too low or goes too high it sounds an alarm or if there is an, a fault in your neutral line it sounds an alarm kind of neat all over Tasmania Aurora Power in Tasmania distribute them uh, I've never seen anything like this in Victoria but uh, yeah Clinton sent me this one from Tassie he's going to keep an eye out for a dead one as well so I can autopsy it he's an electrical engineer so he's going to send me a dead one to do a full autopsy on. This one's brand new and working, so I'm gonna plug this in somewhere and use it. Um, apart from that, not an awful lot else happening. I've got a very old carburetor to look at. I picked that out of the brass bin at the scrap yard for five bucks. Well worth it, considering how old it looks. If anything, it looked great polished up on the wall. Someone's knocked the very top of it off. I'm guessing it was steel. Judging by the rust marks, it was probably steel on top, and they've knocked the top off to clean it, make it just plain brass. Which is a bit of a shame because everything else is there. It's even got the float inside it. An old cork, it's like a varnished cork float. But yeah, I got all of that. I got some 24 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries from work. They're pretty much dead, but I just want to do a mock up on the electric bike. I'll mock up the battery box and get all that work, and then I can. If it works out all right, I can order some um, brand new ones for like 50 bucks each or something. They're really cheap. Probably be less than 50 bucks. Uh, especially if I put them in on a big order with work. I pay by credit card, but they also put it through as trade. I do a lot of that at the moment. Even metric engineering, electricals and stuff like that. Uh, metric supply all our DC motors and gearboxes and things. So, yeah. Um going to work on the PC soon. I know everyone's saying just buy a new one, but we'll see what the next uh, Google check I get is. If it's big enough, I might buy a new one, but otherwise I'm going to put this up on wall brackets. We'll delete this front cover, put this nice big chunky Zalman cooler on it, and um, I'll throw in a full-size graphics card and everything. You can sit up here. Uh, I'll have a separate power supply up the top of the graphics card. Uh, like I said before, a friend sending me a GTS 250 or GTX 250 um, 8 NVIDIA card or whatever it is. Um, that would be an absolute help. Uh, being PCI Express, it should just slot straight into that board. If not, I might have to use the indoor PC if this one doesn't work out. And this one will take 4 gig of RAM. Uh, apart from that, not a lot else happening. Um, good friend of mine's... Uh, he suggested I play around with some vacuum pumps a while ago when I was backing down inner tubes and successfully um, created the first square lawn tractor tyre. I'm quite impressed by that. Name's Larry, HDXFH. I'll post a link in the description. Um, yeah, he suggested it'd be interesting to see if you can drive on one. And, well, I've got a Ford Festiva out there which needs new front tyres. <laughs> you know what that means. Later on in the week we've got to dry that. Uh, see, it'll probably end up unseating the bead, but just for the hell of it, if it does turn into a cube, it'd be just funny to see if it can actually drive. I don't think that little car would have the guts to do it. The auto would probably shit itself. Either way, we're going to vac some stuff down. Um, got a rectangular scotch bottle. I don't think that'll handle vacuum very well. I've been slowly working through that one over the last week or so. A friend gave that to me. Much appreciated. <laughs> So when I'm finished that one, we'll put that under full vacuum. Also try a 44 gallon drum, maybe a 20 gallon um, steel drum, 20 litre plastic drum, um, whatever else needs vacuum down till it pops, or implodes I should say. If anyone's got suggestions, let me know. I've got plenty of scrap tyres and things, although I don't know if many of them are done seats, they're pretty old and stubborn. And try that Mazda Tribute wheel and tyre. Um, not a lot else. Vacuum isn't as exciting as pressure, but pressure has a habit of annoying the neighbours when something goes pop. So we've got to keep that under control. Either way, uh, the V8's still unhappy. I'm going to pull the rocker cover off first to make sure the valves are closing properly. And um, 
I've got the bell housing for this too today, so I'm going to just make some cutouts in the alloy casting so I can just fit it over the top here and just shroud that off. I've already had an ignition lead sort of get caught by the, uh, the ring gear once before and ripped off. It wasn't connected to a plug at the time, I was just running with the plug out and the bloody, I think it was this one, you know, fix this one up. It was just hanging down like that and just went zip and quickly pulled it out. So that was rather unpleasant. But either way, that's just there. That replaces the Hyundai engine and the bits of V4 compressor. Two big lumps move out, one big lump moves in. That's how it goes. And I'm going to be setting this up as a vacuum pump for the test. That's the um, 220 volt three phase Copeland semi hermetic refrigerant compressor, which is almost new. It's like almost new inside. So I'm going to use some of this chemical and high pressure spray paint hose and um, hook him up. We've got about 250 meters of this stuff, new old stock, so we'll have to put it to good use. And also do something like that. I don't know, maybe that could be part of the vacuum experiment. If I can pull the um, Festiva's front tire down from 30 pounds to 30 inches in mercury, I might be able to run this over with it. That'll be something unique. I don't think anyone would have seen that before. 30 pounds down to 30 inches in mercury and then running over a PlayStation 2. Coming soon to YouTube. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. It's your quick little update of the week, and I'm going to keep working on these um, uploading issues because they are really giving me the shits. I've tried changing codecs and things, I've tried updating drivers, I've tried encoding on another PC. YouTube still throws it back at me as a file which reads like 20 minutes long when it's only a 10 minute video, and all the audio and everything's desynced, I lose my frame rate, you know the deal. It's most of my subscribers or dedicated subscribers would have seen it the second it came out. Bad news across the board and I can't fix it once it does that. So either way, yeah, check out the links in the description and yeah, have a good time. Thanks for watching.